All right, you little guys ready for a fly? Let's go. Oh yeah, they're getting excited. All ready to fly. Basically, it is um, it is summer. We've got this random cloud cover come over with a little bit of sleet. You can see it's kind of a little bit sleety. So this is perfect weather to get these guys out for a fly. It's not too hot. And they might actually all get up and have a little bit of a flap around, which is good. Gee, some of them look pretty good. Look at this little one here. Oh, keen to get you out for a fly. So just check to make sure all the other doors are locked so no one else gets out. Oh, look at them all. They're all looking good. We've got the two teams in here that are into one now. We've got the older ones and the younger ones. The aim is to get them all flying together. The older ones fly, younger ones still flapping around a bit. But um, they are pretty keen to go out. They'll probably come out, um, hopefully, without too much issue. These two little ones, the most recent ones, are shock, are looking pretty good. See how them? Look at the beautifulness. So they're ready to come out now. I might just get out of the way. Didn't take them too long. They are very eager to get out and are straight into it. So I might have to help some of them out because there's some of the younger ones in there. There's still quite a few. I think there's 28 in total. Look at that big flock coming in up over here. It's a little bit darker today, but that weather. Whoop, there goes the grizzle. They're all getting pretty keen. What we might do is I might just help them out. I want them all to come out. They all trap in pretty easily. These ones are... Most of them are the young ones. Oh no, they all are. Come on. Let's just go down here, hop down the bottom there, have a little bit of a walk. Well, we've got a little bit of rain coming now, which is nice. Just a nice little drizzle. You can see it out there. Um, it should be a nice little bit of weather. Come on. He's all been out plenty of times before. Let's get... No, you're not coming back in. Out you go. It's okay. You're going to have to get used to this eventually. Come on, guys. So... What I'll do is I'll just shut this one up because we'll get some food and stuff in there for them in a minute. Look at these guys. There's just birds going everywhere. Look at this flock here. It's starting to get nice and big now. There's definitely a lot more birds in there. Oh, we've got a few on the roof. Look at them go. I've had the older ones out just before. There's actually a lot of birds in that flock. There's a lot of the little babies. There's normally not that many. I'm pretty excited now. That's why some are the hot, staying down pretty low because the, the other little babies are dragging them in there with it. But let them all go. Come on. And we've got a few sitting up here on the landing board. These ones are all young, except this one here. She's not young. She's old enough to be up there flying. She's in the first lot. But they all look good. And there are so many birds out flying. They're not going very far, which, um, which is fine. They're just doing little laps around the house, which is good. I'm happy that they are dragging their mother ones up with them. There's still birds going everywhere, though. What I might do, though, is just... I need to put something over there, because I don't want them rushing them back in just yet. I want them to stay out for a little bit. Hello, who are you? So hopefully... There's birds everywhere. Oh, we just had one crash into the house. Oh, I got this little bit. I just don't want them coming back in just yet. They'll come in pretty quick, I reckon, when we call them, because they should be pretty hungry. I just want to have a look at this little flock we've got going there, because the grizzle's up there too, and he's one of the young ones. But apart from the rest, I can't really tell. There's a couple on the roof. This is just going to happen. It's perfect weather for it. I've got that little one up on the roof there. Oh, no, we've got a few more that want to go. That's good. Oh, they're all getting pretty keen. Beautiful. I want to get some food sorted. Okay, it's time to bring him in. We're getting a lot sitting around on the ground.
Hey, so I've still got a couple more flying. I got um, most of them in, but the ones that are up flying were down behind the loft, picking around in the grass down the back, and that's not a habit that I want to get into. So I've got most of them in the loft. I'm going to let them go in and have some food. If these don't come in, they're going to miss out. See, that they're, they're landing again. There is, um, I'll tell you what, the little mongrels. There is one or two of them in there, cockbirds, to so check around that blue bar. Yes, it's a blue bar. You're a pain. Come on. Yeah. So there he goes. He's the one that's giving me trouble. There is two. I've talked about them before. I'm going to miss out on food. I'm going to have to get stricter on them, I think. But the rest of everyone else is pretty good. Look how well behaved these ones are. Come on. All right, so I'll let some of you in. Look at them. Come on. You're a little bit cheeky. There wasn't much seed in there anyway. Come on. A couple more on the roof. A couple of little peckers out the front here. That's not what I want. I want them to come in. Here comes one. Oh, you're the naughty one. That check is one of the naughty ones. Now we just got to get these little ones in line. I like you. Don't you start misbehaving. Come around this way. You know where to go. Come on. So who have we got up here that's playing up? Where's the... There they are there. There's that blue bar again. Come on. Don't you get crimson in on this behaviour. Come on. Oh, he's starting to get on my nerves, that one. He's naughty. He's one of Titan's sons. Cross with the mealy hen that we had. Look at him. He's just got his wings out. He thinks it's his playtime. Uh, so start to set that bad habits on other birds which one of my twenty thousand dollar ring birds is with him and he ha look at him thinks he can just land wherever he wants look at him there he is again hey get out of that come on Psst. oh i tell you what we might have to get rid of this one if he keeps this behavior up there's my twenty thousand dollar ring bird with him as well what are you doing crowing around this is not that kind Get in the loft. Come on. Who are you? Get back in there. Come on. This isn't uh, mating time. This is flying time. Oh, he's really getting on my nerves now, this one. Look at him. Oh, now he's bringing a bin chicken down with him. That's a funny looking pigeon. He just thinks he can do what he wants. He does this all the time. It's him and a checker, but the checker actually went in. And we've got two that are flying around. One of those is the $20,000 ring bird. And I don't want her getting in bad habits because she's one of the contenders, I think, that are going to be pretty good. You can see him coming around there now. But uh, drop some comments down below. What do you think we should do? We're starting to get a few little problem birds. you think that um, we should get rid of him or we should just really starve him until he gets back into line? Make sure you do put some comments down below. Let me know what you think. He's... Um, definitely testing my patience at the moment we um we're getting the red ones in line but we're struggling with those two young birds the other real problem one is the one you can see crowing around there this guy he actually went in so i think he's starting to fall in line a bit but we've still got one that is um is really testing my patience and i don't want him to teach the young ones bad habits this little one wants to go in she's not too bad actually we'll go over and see if we can get her in it's got a little bit of rain that's coming through now. So two of Titan's little uh, shock ones come in. These ones, I really like them. Come on. So one on the left is the older one, and the one on the right is the newer version. So uh, interesting. They both come in. They've been pretty good. I'm going to make sure there's some extra food in there for them. I just want to try and get this little one in. Then the other two that are coming out can just starve for the day. and going miss a meal. Hopefully I'll get her in. She's been a little bit of a... Come on. I got you. I got you. All right. In you go. Come on. Because these young ones haven't been out too much, they're still trying to get the gist of coming up to the landing board and actually going in. So that's good. She knows what she's doing. The problem is some of them just getting that first sort of putting that connection together that if they're on the ground, they can fly up and come in. But I don't know where that other little cheeky bugger's gone. Probably think he's around here. There he is. Look at him. 
you're missing out. He's setting a bad example, and I think there might be one hen out somewhere still. But we're getting there, one step at a time. Oh, there's room in your bucket. Just chaos. There wasn't much left in there anyway. I'm going to make sure everyone that's well behaved gets plenty of food. Who just come in there? Oh, so you want to join us now, do you, you troublemaker? Yeah, look at you. Yeah, you know what? There's no food in there for you now, is there? That's funny. For me, not you. But it's looking pretty good. Look at all these little guys. They're all, like, really happy. And um, today was a really good example of them sort of stepping forward to that next level, which was good. We had a fair amount of these guys actually flying in the flock together. Um, which that kind of excited me a bit because that's good to see. That's what we want. I want them all up together. And who's this cheeky little one? Oh, some cheeky pigeons this year. I've never had so many cheeky ones. Um, but it was really good. I'm happy that they are really sort of progressing. I need to get these guys up flying and I want them actually together in a flock so we can get them um, sort of really dialed in before the weather gets super hot. We're lucky we had a bit of a spell from the heat. Um, that's why I've been trying to get them out as much as possible, but they are looking all really good like this year is probably the best year of babies that I've probably had and it is definitely The most that I've bred You were a troublemaker. Don't you start coming around here at all? So pretty happy how it's all turning out